Hi friends, Radhika Ravi Kumaya. So welcome back. Uh, in the previous tutorial, we have already seen uh, uh, the brief um, discussion regarding the SQL tracing. So um, let us uh, start uh, creating our uh, tracing file. So before um, creation of tracing file, first you need to enable the tracing. That is, you need to uh, just go to SQL Plus and say alter session set sql underscore trace equal to true so once after uh, you make this um, you know sql trace to true after that uh, till it becomes false like after this if you run any queries sql or pl sql all those things will be noted and for those queries for those programs this sql uh, tracing file will be created so now when i say select star from employee where department number equal to 20 okay and uh, let me make it 30 also then uh, let me run a procedure so just a sample procedure okay so let me say CLS I'm just calling the procedure by passing a value okay so I have uh, you know uh, executed two queries and as well as one PL SQL program now let me uh, disable the uh, SQL trace okay so it is true let me make it uh, false okay now the session is altered now the tracing uh, file would have got created as I said in the previous tu uh, previous tutorial that um, our dot uh, trc file will be stored at the os level now we need to find the path where exactly this trc file is there for that there is a method uh, that you need to uh, run you need to you know say like uh, there is a parameter from a table called user dump underscore dust you need to fetch that so that you can uh, get the path just say show parameter and give the table name that is user underscore dump underscore test okay so you can see here our value you can see this path in this path only the dot trc file is there so let me copy this sorry it's not copied properly okay now let me copy this from here and go to my c drive so let me paste it here not allowing let me go step by step it's a c sql plus dag so it's sql plus then diag don't have the permission and that's why so another thing i wanted to say is whenever you are like um, you know um, like enabling the tracing usually some of you might uh, get an error called insufficient privileges so before enabling the tracing just go um, and uh, log in as your system user and uh, give the privilege to the user from wherever you are you know running this um, tracing uh, this tracing uh, SQL tracing so once after uh, doing the you know giving the permission you will be able to uh, you know create this uh, tracing file so okay uh, I stopped it in the diag Diag RDBMS ORCL ORCL trace. Okay. RDBMS ORCL ORCL trace. Okay. Now here there are so many um, trace files. Let me check it for today. And uh, the type should be just 
ls.trc file. So, now the time is um, around 22.44. So, let me see whether any nearest file is there. Yeah, here there is a file and uh, um, our file will be in a format like orcl underscore ora. Do not go to this orcl m m n l. These are irrelevant files for us. Now, we are searching for a file which is having the format of orcl underscore ora underscore some numbers. Okay. So, my recent file is here. This is what 2241 and um, it is orcl ora some number. Let me copy this file to my other drive. I pasted it here. Now, uh, what you need to do is this is uh, as you can see. Uh, this is a .trc file. Now, when I open this file, you won't be able to understand. As I said, it's in a, it's not in a readable format. Okay, you won't be able to understand anything. So we need to convert this um, non uh, no, uh, non readable uh, file into a readable file. That is our .txt file. For that, uh, as I said, we need to use the tkprof. So, let us see how we can use this TK prof in the next tutorial. So, hope you have understood till here. Um, if there are any queries, then please let me know. And you can mail me at uh, plskill.informatica.gmail.com. So, see you in the next tutorial then. Thank you.